Hey there, kitties. Uh, I'm Dan of Dr. Dan's, uh, I guess hence the uh, t-shirt. And today we're going to talk about some of the things that Bidacil gets blamed for and how to take care of them. Uh, TDIs are probably by far one of the most popular vehicles to use a uh, Bidacil in. And hey, we just happen to have one uh, right here. I think this is a 2002 Golf uh, owned by a long-term customer. Uh, just brought in for normal service and we noticed uh, a long crank time as in you know you turn the key and it should basically go rat rat and then start um, you know quickly smoothly with uh, minimal smoke um, and this one goes rat 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 and then starts and shakes a little bit and, uh, and makes some smoke so we're gonna check those reasons out um, just about the first thing that we always do is we check for fuel restriction. The uh, injection pump here has to suck fuel all the way through the filter and back to the tank, which is underneath the back seat. So um, that's a lot of sucking for it to do, and uh, it's it's a difficult job. Um, so first thing that we do is we check for restriction. This has uh, these lovely clear lines. Um, so if you see a bunch of air in those, uh, this one uh, looks like it's filled full of fuel. Um, so that's good. But if you see a bunch of air in there, that's indication of something could be amiss. And uh, I have uh, our big sucker vacuum pump hooked up to the fuel outlet on the filter. And um, so we just uh, shove it on, and I'm just going to give this one pump, and if everything's happy, fuel should come flying out of there. So we're just going to watch uh, right here. Uh, one pump, and hey, there's nothing coming out. So that failed that test. I'm going to give it one more. Oh, there's a little bit. And, you know, it's barely moving. So, not good. Um, and there's quite a bit of suction. You can just hear all that go. And uh, so now we're going to check it in front of the filter uh, to see if there's restriction in between the filter and in the fuel tank. And so let's see how this does. Mmm. Once again, it should be flying out of there, and it's not. Yeah, there it is. Barely moving. And that's just about the same as after the filter. So we definitely have a restriction there. So we're going to um, go to the fuel pickup, which is underneath the back seat, and check for a restriction there. All right, here we are in the back seat of this fine uh, vehicle. You can tell this person uh, has a small organic farm, hence the uh, organic material in the vehicle. Um, there's just, uh, just underneath the back seat, a little metal panel, a couple screws, and a piece of carpet. So, the blue line is a return, just like a vein. The black line is the uh, artery. There's a little plastic clippy there. You just press it in and pull it up. And that's where the fuel is supposed to come out of. So, we're going to do our same vacuum test. Put it right on there. Make sure we have a pretty good seal. And give it a pump. Oh, there. Uh, uh. There it is, but it is not flying out of there. It should be, you know, actually quite the torrent. And hear that suck, so. Yeah, there's uh, our issue. So, um, 
we have to unscrew this big plastic nut. Um, pull this off, of course, and uh, and we just go to Volkswagen and get a, another um, uh, a Canadian model, which is more suited to cold weather, has a larger check valve in it. Um, George, let's uh, show them the part number. It's in the cabinet there. So anyhow, that's my great filing system. That's the part number of the uh, new uh, pickup that's new and improved. Uh, here's what one looks like. It's the fuel level sensor, and it has the uh, uh, fuel pickup, all this uh, tomfoolery down here. And uh, pop one open, I can show you some of the, the garbage in it, if I can remember where I put my pick. There it is. And you can see there's a fair amount of garbage in there. And there's uh, check valves in here. Um, and all these connections and O-rings. Um, these are fairly inexpensive. You know, we have had okay luck uh, cleaning them out and getting them to work again. But I think it's just better off just to get another one. See you in a bit. Hey. Here we are with the new part installed. The new uh, part number, the last uh, four digits are 183H, the Canadian fuel pickup. Do the uh, quick uh, test on there. Sucker on, uh, one pump, and look at that. Already fuel flying out of it. So that's a tremendous success there. And uh, also, while you have that out, you need to look inside the fuel tank to uh, make sure that it doesn't have any crap that's in there that isn't fuel. People say, well, well what should I be looking for? Anything that's not fuel. <laughs> uh, any deposits, discoloration, you know, blah, 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 blah. But 99.9% uh, um, .9 of our customers have issues are from buying contaminated fuel that you buy at the gas station. Most of it isn't really filtered. It's only filtered about 30 microns just to protect the meter on the pump. So you're very likely, possible, probable to buy contaminated fuel that has dirt water bacteria in it. Um, so, hey, uh, we're going to test drive this and I bet it's going to be a rocket now. See you soon.